All right, listen up, Luna and UAD family. The 1176 is the single most famous compressor of all time. I use it on every mix, so I figured I would show five secrets about these plugins. Secret number one, kinda, is the different versions of the plugin. Now, if you have the 1176 limiter collection on the UAD2 platform, uh, there's five different versions, which might get a little confusing as to what they are and what they do. So I'm gonna run it down real quick. The 1176 Legacy and SE Legacy are low DSP versions of the plugin. They do not model the input and output characteristics or the transformers. They only model how the 1176 would typically compress. The other three models include the 1176 Rev-A, Rev-E, and Rev-AE. Rev-A is gonna be your famous blue stripe. This version is a little, I find it's a little brighter and it also distorts a lot faster. Think of the Rev-E like your typical 1176 LN. If you were to walk into the Guitar Center, pick one up and buy one, walk out. And the AE was a special edition and it had a few really select features, notably the two to one compression ratio, it's hard to say, and the slow attack mode. All of them compress a little bit differently and react to signals slightly differently. So if you pick the Rev-E versus the Rev-A, the four to one ratio might react a little bit differently than the four to one ratio on the Rev A. So choose wisely. Okay, now here's secret number one for real. Use the legacy editions. I love to use the legacy editions when I'm DSP limited or if I have a massive session and I'm tracking someone. It's great to give them that compression and that vibe in their headphones where you don't really need to worry about, worry about uh, all of the extra nuance. It's just for them to be able to hear themselves it's not a critical listening environment or the mixer master stage. So feel free to use that while tracking and save that DSP for the session. Guys, if you wanna hear these secrets in action, I've just launched my new Class X line of presets. These presets are based and built off everything in this video and more. Each Classics pack is both UAD2 and UADX compatible. They work in any DAW, whether you're in Pro Tools, Logic, you name it. They're designed for post-production, so you don't have to have UAD console running, and this includes Luna. Now you can find all the presets right from within the Luna preset browser window. I spent a lot of time dialing these in, so they're already gain stage for post-production ABing, so you don't have to. Now I've included some of my favorite presets in these packs. Some of these presets have been used in songs that have been on the radio and even some of the country music networks. Classx is a great way to learn how to get the most from these plugins, and it's also the best way to support the channel so I can keep bringing you guys new content and find new ways to help you guys in your creative endeavors. Guys, your support means the absolute world to me. Click the link in the description below to find out more. I truly hope that you guys enjoy these new presets as much as I do. Secret number two, the fast attack and fast release setting. The 1176 is already a really fast compressor, but if you push it to its absolute limit, it's gonna react to signals almost immediately. So you put it on a, on a snare drum or you put it on acoustic guitar and crank the attack and release up as fast as possible. It's basically gonna cause transient distortion, which can get a cool aggressive sound. Again, remember that the different versions compress differently, so play around with it and choose wisely. This fast attack and fast release will also react differently to different compression ratios. And speaking of ratios, secret number three. Now, everyone talks about the all-ins button mode, but no one talks about the uh, no compression, all buttons out mode. Turning off compression entirely and using these as just basically a color box is really cool, especially if you're using compression from a different box like the LA-2A or the Fairchild and you still want the color and the grit of the sound of the 1176. So what you would do is grab whatever 1176 you want and shift click to turn off the compression. And that's one way to do it. The other way to do it is to just click the word off. And now you are still running through the plugin, but the plugin is not off. It's important to note that the legacy versions do not do this. If you shift click them, they're gonna enable the all ins button mode. And again, there's no input or output transformer characteristics. You gotta use one of these other three. If you're a UADX user, then you'll have no problem because UADX only comes with the three newer models. Now, speaking of using the device as a color box, color's all about headroom. So that's secret number four is the headroom knob. On most UAD plugins, you'll find a little HR somewhere in the plugins GUI. And if you turn that clockwise or forward, you'll get less headroom. 
turning it back, you'll get more headroom. So if you have your compressor dialed in, push it forward, you're gonna hear a lot more of that color of the box and the way it compresses, turn it back and you're gonna get less color, a little bit less compression, which might be desirable. But you didn't have to mess with your attack, your release, your input or your output. Now, if color is all about headroom, headroom's all about output. And that's secret number five, the output knob. Now, they've modeled the output characteristics on these three versions, the AE, E, and A. So as you move the output knob up, it's gonna change all of those non-linearities and you'll get more color, you'll get a different response and tone. Don't be afraid to crank the output knob. All right, bonus tip. I thought that this was pretty important to talk about, but the VU meter is like your best friend when using these plugins. Now, most people probably use the meter in their DAW uh, for whatever signal it is, and they just use their ears, which is cool. But what I like to do is to first monitor my gain reduction. You can see it says GR on every one of these. Then what I do is I turn it to plus four and I monitor the output. And back in the old days, a lot of people like to see that meter kind of somewhere right around zero and averaging somewhere around zero, maybe plus one, plus two, somewhere in there. But of course, if you're going for that grit and that sound, smack the plus three and you're all set. Guys, if you've enjoyed this shorter form, more focused content, let me know. That's the only way I'm gonna know whether or not to keep making videos like this is if you hit the like button, leave a comment below, and subscribe to the channel for all things UAD and Luna. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Cheers.